I'm just checking, but you're not having any side effects, are you? Well, as long as you're healthy. Bye. Jeez. What's the point of checking my phone if... <laughs> if Sojiro will remember that? What's the point of checking it if I can't reply? Just, like, don't check your phone while you're eating. Jeez. help with a matter involving Aiko. Are you free? Thank you. It'll be nice to have you with me. Um, I want to dig up some dirt regarding Aiko's boyfriend, Tsukasa, before we confront her about him. I was thinking of asking around the red light district for info. Alright then. Shall we head over there? I see stories online about horrible hosts like Tsukasa all the time. However, We'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Eiko. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. And then he said, and if you can't find any evidence, just pin it on the nearest minority. Hmm? How about you come to our club and we'll show you a good time? You have money though? You seem like a poor young kid. I have so much money. Tsukasa! You bastard. You a friend of his? He's using the sake bottle trick? Let me make it clear for you. Get that girl out of there. Tsukasa is known for wrecking lives. He breaks his sake bottle and ends up selling the girls to pay it back. Same thing happened to one of my friends. Damn it. We have proof now. Come on. It's almost time for Eiko's shift to end. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. What do you want? Hey, Eiko. Your boyfriend is infamous around here for tricking girls into debt, then forcing them to sell themselves. Moreover, he's probably doing it in conjunction with a criminal gang. You need to get out of there. You seriously came all the way here to tell me that? Ugh, get out of here, Makoto. I've had enough of your lying bullshit. I have testimony from one of the promoters in the area. You're not the first girl Tsukasa has lied to about, a broken sake bottle. He doesn't ask for much at first, but the interest piles up. Eventually, he'll ask you to sell your body for money. Please, reconsider this relationship. Shut it! I already have a date planned with him for today. We're gonna stop by his club. So stay out of my way! Yo, did it make your way, babe? I came a little late after seeing your text, but I guess you're already here. Hey, Al. I know these guys. Wanna hop on over to my club with us? It's gonna be a total blast. They were saying some bad stuff about you, honey. Like, how you get girls into debt and then force them to sell themselves. They're lying to me, right? Huh? You believe that crap? Listen to me. Nothing like that's happening here. I'd never lie to you, princess. Hmm, it's always princess with you. Why don't you ever call him, her by her real name, Tsukasa? Or are there too many princesses in your life to remember? Tsukasa? <laughs> what are you freaking out for? You just texted me, remember? I could never forget you, Makoto. I see. I knew it. I'm the one who texted you. I'll be five minutes late today, baby. I even added tons of emojis at the end to make sure it seemed like Eiko. Admit it, every girl you get money from is your princess, right? You can't even remember names anymore. Don't you see, Eiko? This is who your boyfriend really is. B but you tripped him. What would you know about love, huh? Tsukas is all I have. Just leave me alone, bitch. Wake up! You already know the truth, you just don't want to believe it! Stop lying to yourself! But... 
Gus is the only one who cares about me. Nobody else asks me about my day or how work is going. Nobody else treats me like I'm special. A perfect girl who lives up to everyone's expectations could never know how I feel. Stop trying to feed me your honor student bullshit. This has nothing to do with being an honor student. I just can't rest knowing there's such evil in the world. And I damn sure won't keep quiet while my friend has her life ruined. <sighs> As for you, apologize to Aiko and stay away from her for now on. From, from, from now on. Huh? You're really starting to annoy me with this shit, you bitch. Don't think I'll go easy on you because you're a chick. I'm going to teach you a lesson you won't forget. I dare you. What was that, you bastard? Ren. I come from a long line of police officers. <laughs> if you really want to start something, be my guest. Yeah, I'm sure that sounded way cooler in her head. What? Damn it, I'll remember this. He wasn't so tough after all. Sucks. Huh? Aiko! Whoa, did you see that? Was that girl fighting with a host? They were really going at it. People noticed what happened. You're right. Staying here now is only going to cause us more trouble. Aiko? Hmm. I can't believe I actually hit one of my friends. I see. I hope so. You know, I have a bad habit of acting in the moment. I can't help but get swept up in emotion. That's why I always have to take extra care to keep myself composed. My father was the same way. Though, that's not the proper way to act though. There's no telling what would have happened if you hadn't stepped in. Um, that aside, this place is interesting. How did you ever find somewhere like this? You know so much. Hmm, so you come often? It's hard to believe you're really a high schooler. You have so much more life experience than me. Honestly, spending time with you and getting to know Eiko has given me a great deal to think about. There's so much you can miss by living with your head buried between the pages of a book. I thought I knew how the world worked, but the more I spent time with you guys, the more I realized how naive I was. But I see now that there are some things I need other people to teach me. Do you remember how Eiko said I would flunk a test about love? Well, um, I don't know how to study that subject. What should I do, Ren? I should choose my words carefully. Hmm. I can't learn about romance by myself. Yes. People say those kinds of things are destiny anyway, so I probably shouldn't worry myself over it. And besides, I should at least try to focus on my schoolwork right now. Let's work hard to achieve our goals together, Ren. I can sense a strong bond of friendship from Makoto. All right. You kids done with your little heart-to-heart -heart yet? <sighs> Sorry about that. It's rude of us to stay here so long after only ordering tea. Oh, don't worry. Just a glimpse into that fresh drama of yours is the only apology I need. It's like a nice spritz of lemon in the air. Makes me think back to when I was just a wee girl. Well, um, we should be going. All right then. Why were you so rude to Lala? Jeez. Hello? Are you good to talk right now? There's something I really want to tell you. 
I think between us, we managed to help Aiko see the truth. I'd probably never have pulled that off alone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. I'll work off that debt through the Phantom Thieves. I'm thinking of calling Aiko when she calms down a bit, but I wanted to get a courage boost from you before I did. Yep, that helped. I think I can talk to Aiko properly now. I really am glad I've got you in my corner. I'm lucky to have such a reliable leader. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well then. You made a promise with Futaba, right? I'm sure she'll pull through. How is Futaba? Dude, this ain't just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow. If Futaba's not up by then... But can she really do anything even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Hmm. Dreams are said to be the sorting of memories, after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? You think she's really facing all that shit right now? If that's the case, she would probably need a great amount more time to do so. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. Yes. Indeed. Well, just give us a ring if anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? Hey, hey! Everyone wants to talk to me. I'd like to ask you to help me with my speeches. If you're free, come to the front of Shibuya Station. Everyone. Good evening. It's almost time. I'd appreciate it if you could be around afterwards today. I'm sure I don't have to remind you about what this concerns. How's your availability? Thank you. A speech about the Phantom Thieves. There are some things I want you to hear, so please come and listen to it. The stage is set. Thank you. I appreciate it, but... I know. You're not going to be my right-hand man, right? Don't worry. I won't pull any tricks. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. I saw Kuromoto's grandson around here somewhere. I bet he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. This speech should serve as your response to him. I didn't think any of the parties would back no good Tora. He's going to talk about the Phantom Thieves, right? I couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. Very well. I'm going to get started. Yes. Especially with you looking on. Everyone. The reason they're causing such a stir is because they are addressing the world's problems. What are you doing, Toranosuke? Setting aside whether their actions are right or wrong, there is one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I... Mm, sure, you are all aware that I am no good Tora, the one accused of embezzlement. I was a fool twenty years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. The most important thing is... Why am I in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But why do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? 
I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they had no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. I... I'm just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able to become a Diet member this election, and I may not be able to affect change during my lifetime. That's the wrong uses of usage of effect. However... But I've made my peace with that. I will be happy, as long as I can be a meaningful stepping stone for the future of our youth. Thank you for listening. I set the stage for nothing. So, you have no intention of accusing old man Kuramoto. Yes. Sheesh. Such a heartfelt speech for someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I doubt any of them were moved by your words. I might be the only one in this entire city who was. Matsushita. Proceed as you wi wish with the candidacy. I'll take measures to ensure the party backs you. Within the limits of my abilities, of course. Goodbye. Hmm. My candidacy, huh? What an unexpected turn of events. The Phantom Thieves. Perhaps it's the effect of you moving my heart. That must be it. Still, I have you to thank for all this. The Phantom Thieves. The power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Speech is my only weapon. Just my voice and my words. That's how I win people over. Thank you. For sticking by my side, Amamiya-kun. <laughs> Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't such a bad thing. If he's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then... Ah, I'm talking to myself again. Another bad habit of mine. Time to finish up for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Kes Phantom Thief! Tomorrow's the day, isn't it? Are the Phantom Thieves even doing anything? I can't read English. Hey, what are we gonna do? I should never have trusted the Phantom Thieves. What's going to happen tomorrow? Today's supposed to be the day Medjed's attacking, right? I guess there's nothing the Phantom Thieves could do. Medjed must have been too much for them. Stock prices are plummeting again. Maybe Medjed's true goal was... Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Utaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. Same as always. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Futaba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Oh, that reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. I, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death as suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. 
I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off thinking it was just a joke. I mean, it was so funny. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> that's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? I agree. I'm waiting for it to happen, but... Futaba! It's cold. Uh, uh huh? You can't sell this. No, no, never mind that. But how did you get here? Uh, I walked. You're okay? Was that bad? Th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I remember now. Majed. Let's take care of it now. Come. Apparently, some ATMs aren't working. I heard someone's tampering with the system. Is it Medjed? No, it couldn't be. What are the police doing? They're so incompetent. Even the Phantom Thieves couldn't stop them. It's my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? Roger that. Hey Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure he could do this? The, the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! R right. Now hurry it up! Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm hmm Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Futaba! <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Damn, bitch, Futaba, you... You should really clean your room a bit. Huh. Made that jo joke She's twice before. She's not listening. Oh, well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. <sighs> I'm done! Uh, what's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? Ah, it's so clean! Why? We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too. I heard the bank servers got taken over. This has to be fake, right? There's no way. 
I'm scared. What's going to happen? Are the police taking action? They're ignoring it? Seriously? Still, I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. So, Futama's awake? Awesome! And has Medjed been taken care of? Uh, more importantly, how's Futaba doing? Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. If Medjed's been affected, it will surely make the news. That should be enough to confirm whether or not the deed's been done. Then why don't we all watch the news together? Yes. We should meet up at Leblanc as usual. See you tomorrow, guys! We should be in the clear now, right? I don't know, maybe it'd be better if we just stayed in today. The editor demanded a manuscript, but the writer only hung his head in defeat. For real? This is no time for writer's block! How is he gonna make the deadline? Oh! So, we finished watching 31, huh? We were pressed for time ourselves, but we made it. Maybe you learned, learned a thing or two about guts from watching this drama. What's this? Are you serious? No way, I can't believe it. This isn't a joke, is it? They lost? How could this happen? Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? Oh, you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <sighs> what are you all smirking about? Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation, too. Oh, crap. I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me, too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hackers' actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? 
Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Madarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? We ask consent this time. <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? To think, a cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futabachan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? She is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. 
how do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the hacker of justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh, uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Uh, that ain't gonna fly. First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time, thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else, depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. Shut up! How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Mejed was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I've heard things too. It's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a Medjet attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they reverse revere us for preventing it. Yeah, it's really all thanks to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't Medjed, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence? Either that or those rumors were never true to begin with. Hmm, you seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. Hmm? Mm. I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Me? Why? Mm. 
Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. <sighs> Training Futab <laughs> Training Futaba? <laughs> She's not a pet. Uh Training Futaba is going to be a lot of work, more than stealing someone's heart. No, let's just, um, let's all go into the bathroom and she can smell us through the crack in the door. That'll work. Now that's my phantom thieves. I knew they'd pull it off. This definitely proves the justice of the phantom thieves. Right? It feels great. Even the guys who have been criticizing the phantom thieves basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire, too. I'll give it an extra boost on my side as well. I bet the approval rating will be through the roof tomorrow. Look forward to it. Why is he, of all people, getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. Nice. Hey. Oh, surprise customers. Close up. Hi. I can't tell you how to send me just a case of There's no one inside. Will it always be? I'm incredibly sweaty. Um. What shall we do? more aptitude for this than I imagined. I also sense an ambitious spirit within you. I should have taken into account your improvement through our, throughout our lessons. I have something in mind, but let's play a match first. In fact, let's play right now. Um, after we finish this match, let's go to a secondhand bookstore. <laughs> that was a good match. I really do enjoy teaching you. You're such a quick learner. Today, I thought we'd find you something to help you train on your own. This bookstore is filled with shogi-related books. I've been coming here a lot lately. There's also a curry restaurant just around the corner. I recommend their katsu curry. I always eat katsu curry before an important match for good luck. Hey for me. Oh, hello. I hope your match went well today. What are you talking about? Today's our day off. My apologies. I forgot that there aren't any matches scheduled for today. Out shopping with your boyfriend? <laughs> How nice for you. I shouldn't be surprised. You are a famous shogi player after all. Well, I won't intrude. Bye. Sorry. She was only glaring at you because you're with me. She's my senior. I defeated her in a recent title match. Well, that's very kind of you. The truth is, I'm not very well liked by my seniors. The more attention I get, the more enemies I make, and the more lies are spread about me. Oh, perhaps it's odd to compare myself to them, but I wonder if it's the same for the Phantom Thieves. People are so divided about them on the internet. Some love them while others hate them. I can't help but see similarities between us. Yeah, that's because you were supposed to be a phantom thief. Well, what do you think about them? I feel the same way, actually. 
It's amazing that they're still doing what they do, even though so many people criticize them. They give me courage. But their victories can't be won with will alone. How do they change a person's heart? I'm interested from a tactical standpoint, and... Oh, I'm sorry. We really are quite off topic. I feel like I've be become much more talkative as of late. I usually don't talk this much. You're more than just someone I can practice new moves with. You're someone I can confide in. I look forward to it. If you don't mind this sort of thing, I'd like to go out and chat with you again. I feel Hifumi's trust in me growing. All right. Oh yes, there's a book that I'd love for you to read. Let's go. Until next time. No knowledge? That's so annoying that it's not every time. Hello. Thank you for accompanying me today. My intentions was to show you how great Jimbocho is, but I ended up just talking about myself. My apologies. I was shocked, though. Ordinarily, I don't talk that much, I assure you. Perhaps it's because I never had friends at school who I could talk to about Shogi. I hope this won't discourage you from spending time with me. Really, I would be delighted to do this again. Thank you. Other than used books in Katsukuri, there are many things I'd like to recommend in that city. If you have the chance, perhaps we can explore more of the city next time. Well, I'm afraid I must go. I'll see you at the church. Hi! Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. I believe I told you we would spare no expense in cooperating with you. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. 